Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ray Hogue, the owner of Inner Boss Beauty, and today I will be making a lip gloss for my fall collection. And the uh, lip gloss I will be making today will be candy corn. And so I have my Versa gel, I have uh, four tubes, I have already cut the tip and the, the ends and the tips off my uh, pipettes, and I have uh, the colors and the flavor that I will be using. I have my oils right here. I have my syringe. I have, I'm gonna use a plate today and I'm gonna use a bowl to mix uh, mix them in. I use the Kleenex, I mean the um, Lysol wipes to clean the table. Everything is disinfected already. These tubes were uh, clean uh, two days ago and I let them dry. You will always want your tubes completely dry because Water and oil does not mix. Since you would mix an oil and, uh, to your Versa gel, it will not mix if your tubes are wet. So everything is already clean and sanitized. And uh, just for this video, for video purposes only, I'm just gonna be making four tubes and I probably just give these out for samples, but I will be add those, adding these to my site at innerbossbeauty.com uh, in my fall collection, along with the other few fall collections. Uh, lip glosses which will be um this what i'm making right now will be candy corn and then i will be doing a video making um candy apple red for for the fall collection and i also will make will be making caramel apple boss gloss for the fall collection but right now we're just going to focus on the candy corn so the first thing to do is use the versa gel and i did get this from uh tkb trading months ago And since I'm only trying to fill up maybe four tubes, and they will be halfway, the tubes will be halfway. So um, I'm only going to use a little bit because the first color will be orange, yellow, and then white. So orange will be first. And since I'm only filling up the tubes halfway with the orange color, I'm only going to need a little bit of Versa gel. I only want to start off with a very small amount because once you start adding the oils to it, it definitely will make more and it also thin your uh, base out. And right here, I'm just adding uh, my castor oil. Vitamin E. And then I'm just gonna whip this together. to be completely clear you will want to use coconut oil because coconut oil is one of the oils that does not have any color to it at all so like I said the first color will be orange and this is just uh, my mica pot I had got from uh, Amazon so I will be using up just a little bit of this color orange that I want. And right now it's not so I'll be adding a little bit more. And I really think that will be enough. And then I'm going to add my orange flavor. Really good. 
right you see how that just really don't drizzle off the stick that means that your uh, base of uh, the lip gloss is too thick I don't want my lip gloss really thick I don't want it sticky or anything like that but I also don't want it too thin and watery I normally measure everything but since uh, I'm just making a video and only making four tubes, I don't know the measurements that I would use for four tubes because I never really make. Just a few tubes. Okay, it's looking. Okay, it's looking a lot better. But I think I want to add a little bit more orange to it. Maybe that should do. And I'm just gonna whip it a little more. And again, I'm just gonna add a little bit more oil and then I will be um, ready to put them in my squeeze tubes. And these are 10 millimeter squeeze tubes. Now be sure to check out innerbossbeauty.com. I will be sure to leave the link below where you uh, where you can get all your affordable accessories from. Be sure to check that out. Be enough. I'm gonna be ready to put it in my uh, syringe. Okay, and for the second shade, I will be basically doing the same thing, but I will be adding different colors, which was the, the next color will be yellow. So, I'm going to use a little bit. Be using a little bit of a uh, base. This, I mean, it's called the color is called fantasy yellow, so more like kind of like a mustard color, maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking more like a mustard color. And the uh, flavor I'll be using today will be. Got coconut flavor, but why not just use the coconut oil since it's basically coconut? Okay. Thick, so I'll just be adding a little bit more coconut oil. 
know what? I'm actually think I would be adding this, adding lemon to it. And then the next one will be um, the next one will be coconut. The more you stir this, the better it will be. Like you want to like basically like whip this and have it all the uh, potters and stuff whip really, really well. The oils and everything because if you don't, the oil will settle. Like if you leave your lip gloss in your car or something like that and then you come back to it, you will see like, like for people that use grapeseed oil, you will see that the grapeseed oil like separates from the gloss if it's not mixed properly. So I like that, how it come off the spoon. Well, not spoon, stick, you know what I mean. So I like that. So I think this would be ready for me to just put it into the syringe and then add it to the spoon too. Okay, and for the last color, I will be doing the same thing, but this color will be uh, white to so just go at the very tip. And again, I will just be using a very little uh, Versa gel. And this flavor will be coconut. Then I will be adding my coconut oil. This is the color I'm using and it is uh, satin silver white. So it's basically like, like a shimmer white. I was going to use uh, my lip liquid, the white, but I don't know. I'm just going to see how this turn out first and then it's not white like how, ooh, like how I want it to be and I will. Add the lip liquid. Like I said, you do want to mix this really, really well. I really like that color white, but I will uh, add vitamin E oil to it because you want to keep your lips hydrated. Okay, then I'm just going to add this to the syringe and then I'm going to uh, finish filling up the tubes and I'll be back.
Okay, so I kind of already started this one. And uh, for the color, I used green apple, which would be perfect since we are making candy apple. And I will be using the apple scent. And I just used my three oils, my coconut oil, my castor oil, my vitamin E oil. And I just used a little bit of Versagel. And now I'm just mixing it. Oh, actually, I did not add my apple, but let me get that added right now. And I'm actually going to be adding a little more than this because most of the tube will be green. And the caramel would just sit on the top of it. So we're going to need more green than we will be needing the caramel color. Okay. That should be enough. But we will have to add more green and a little bit more oils. Okay, then we're just going to mix this really, really well. Remember, you want to uh, mix it really well because you don't want any of uh, like chunk pieces of the uh, mica powder. Hmm. Mica, whatever you want to call the powder. And I'm just going to whip this really, really good. Okay, just a little bit more apple scent since we did add uh, more Versagel. And I still think it's kind of a little, little bit too thick. So I will just be adding a little bit more of the vitamin E. I wish I had a, a green apple scent, but red apple worked just fine. And uh, it will be three boss glosses to the collection. And the first one will be red candy apple, which is just a red color. Be sure to uh, check out innerboxbeauty.com to look at uh, the fall collection. And then I will be making the caramel apple. And then I also have candy corn. And that also will be added to the fall collection. You can buy them all three together or you can buy them separately. I think I'm going to just, maybe I'm going to sell them all together. I don't know. Okay, so now that that looks perfect. Actually, let me add a little bit more oil to it. Okay, better. Now I'm just going to be adding it to my syringe and then be putting it in my 10 millimeter squeeze tubes. Okay, so now since I have these uh, tubes filled up with the green, I will just be adding a very little bit of Versa Gel because I'm only will be adding a caramel color to just the tip of the tube. That will be enough of that. I'm just gonna put that to the side. Begin to add my oils. And I don't have like no chocolate scent or no flavor or nothing like that. So this would just be coconut as well.
Okay, so I have I I have brown green. I have brown green and bronze. So I think I'm going to maybe use the bronze and see. I also have brown lip a uh, lip liquid, but I'm not too sure about that. So I'm just going to try to add a little bit of this and see how this turn out. Okay, so it's really, really bronze. 